In this lesson, we'll be discussing chiral carbons. Just before we begin, a chiral carbon atom is one that contains four different attachments. In addition, a carbon atom with two or more of the same attachments, such as two or three hydrogen atoms, is not a chiral carbon atom. With that, we should be able to answer question one. For each of the following, indicate whether the carbon in red is chiral or achiral. The first molecule is glycerol, which is used to sweeten and preserve food and as a lubricant in soaps, creams, and hair products. So we're focusing on this carbon, and if you take a look, to the left of this carbon, we have this attachment. And to the right of this carbon, we have the same. So two of the substituents on this carbon are the same, so it is a chiral. In question B, we have monosodium glutamate, which is a salt of the amino acid glutamic acid used as a flavor enhancer in foods. So we're focusing on this one, and let's look for substituents that are the same. There's this one, the carboxylic acid part. There's also NH2, H, and the rest of the molecule. As you can see, none of these are the same. So we say that this carbon is chiral. We'll do the same test for C. That's one of the substituents here, here, and the rest. None of them happen to be the same, so this carbon is also chiral. Finally, in question two, circle the chiral carbon of penicillamine, which is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So we need to find the carbon that has four attachments, four bonds. This one has four. Watch, one, two, three, four. And so does this one. One, this whole substituent, this H, and the rest. This one has three, so it's either this carbon or this carbon. It won't be this one, because if we choose this as the chiral carbon, two of its substituents are the same, which makes it achiral. So it can't be that one. It has to be this one, because if I square off all its substituents, they are all different. Therefore, that carbon right there is the chiral carbon in this molecule. And there you have it, our quick discussion on chiral carbons.